This week, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, Super Smash Bros. on the Switch, a 72-qubit quantum computer, space lettuce, and wild cyclones on Jupiter. All on Geek This Week. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Geek This Week. I'm your host, Brogan. And I'm your other host, Kyler. And we're just gonna jump right in as usual. This week in gaming, the Pathfinder 2nd Edition playtest was officially announced. Paizo, the developer behind the game, announced on Tuesday that the 2nd Edition will begin rigorous playtesting starting August of this year. Many fans seem excited to try the new edition, while others are skeptical it may be an oversimplified version of the game. One writer for Pathfinder responded to a critic saying, Character creation and advancement is a core principle of Pathfinder's design philosophy. If anything, there are even more ways to customize your character with the new rules. Either way, we're excited to see what the new edition of Pathfinder brings this fall. Also this week, Oculus temporarily bricked all of their VR headsets. On Wednesday, every owner of the Oculus Rift found themselves with an unexpected error that prevented them from playing any of their games. This was caused by an expired certificate that Oculus seems to have forgotten was important after they released a patch that resolved the issue. CEO Nate Mitchell announced that everyone affected would receive a $15 store credit for the inconvenience. However, this doesn't seem to help the countless VRcades and video game showcases that were ruined by the issue. On Thursday, Nintendo actually held yet another Nintendo Direct broadcast. In the broadcast, they showcased a plethora of new games set to come out on the Nintendo Switch later this year. The announcements included titles such as Dark Souls, Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy, Undertale, and South Park The Fractured But Whole. And last, but definitely not least, was the new Super Smash Bros. game announced for the Nintendo Switch. They did drop an amazing teaser featuring Mario and Link hidden in the shadows, as well as the Inklings from Splatoon. The game should be releasing sometime this year. This week was also very exciting for a bunch of other games, so I'm just gonna try to speed through these. Activision and Treyarch had a surprise live stream where they revealed the next Call of Duty game, Black Ops 4. Not much else is known other than a full release will come on May 17th and the game will release on October 12th. Ubisoft also announced they have been developing The Division 2 for some time now, and while there is no release information, it's likely to come out at some point in 2019. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds released their roadmap for 2018 in which they announced a new island map which is much smaller than all of the others. This map will be 4 kilometers by 4 kilometers, while the other two are 8 by 8 kilometers. Finally, Epic Games announced Fortnite will be making its way to mobile devices very soon, and users can apply to the invite event for iOS starting on Monday. An Android version will come in the following months. The game will also support crossplay, so you can play with PC users while you're playing on your phone. This week in movies, Lucasfilm has announced that Jon Favreau will be producing a new live action Star Wars series. This news comes after Disney announced two other Star Wars projects, including a trilogy by The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson, and a movie series by the Game of Thrones directors. Favreau is an executive producer for Marvel Infinity War, Age of Ultron, and also the Iron Man trilogy. So far, a release date has not been set, but we do look forward to it when it comes out. The 90th annual Academy Awards were this week, and unfortunately, they were very disappointing. The award show scored a 46 percent critic score on Rotten Tomatoes and a 41 percent for user reviews. Many criticized them playing the show too safe and dragging the show on much longer than it should have been. The most interesting thing to happen all night was when one person attempted to steal an Oscar from the table. He was quickly chased down, caught, arrested, and finally charged on Tuesday with one felony of grand theft. Worst of all, however, was their in memoriam in which they forgot to mention many stars who passed away last year, including legends like Adam West, Tom Tom Petty and Glenn Campbell. What an incredibly terrible oversight on their part. This week in tech, researchers are currently working on eye drops that actually improve your vision. Ophthalmologists at Israel's Bar Ilan University and Shar Zedek Medical Center use a special process utilizing nanoparticles to correct vision. The first step is to download an app for your smartphone that measures your eye refraction, then creates and projects a laser pattern onto the corneal surface of the eye. This takes place in less than a second and can be done completely at home without a doctor. You would then use these eye drops that interact with that pattern to adjust the refraction into your eyes. However, with this treatment, the eye slowly heals itself, causing the vision to slowly return to normal. So the eye drops have to be taken at least every month or two. They say preliminary tests are promising for long and short sightedness. With luck, they are hoping to start producing a commercial version of the product sometime in 2019. 
Also this week, Google unveiled a brand new quantum computer that's bigger and better than we've ever seen before. The computer, called Bristlecone, is 72 qubits and has a 1% error rate, which is larger than their 49 qubit processor and has the same low error rate. While we still have a long way to go before quantum computing becomes mainstream, this could lead to some really cool, useful applications. Amazon also gave people around the US a good scare this week when their Alexa began creepily laughing at users on prompted. Dozens of consumers reported having their Alexa-enabled devices start laughing for seemingly no reason. Some thought it was hilarious, while others were legitimately creeped out by the thought that someone had broken into their home. Amazon then changed their phrase from Alexa laugh to Alexa can you laugh, as well as adding the response, sure, I can laugh before beginning. The question now is whether or not this was actually some kind of devious cover-up for an unavoidable dystopian robot takeover. <laughs> this week in science, NASA's space probe Juno has unveiled some of the secrets of Jupiter for the first time ever. The mission first launched seven years ago to research more about Jupiter. Up until now, we knew that Jupiter had massive storms with immense winds flowing in opposite directions causing cyclones, but new research shows these storms are 1900 miles deep. Using this new data, NASA generated this image of the cyclones at Jupiter's south pole. The cyclones pictured have about the same diameter as Mars. These storms are unlike anything we've ever seen before, and they honestly ask more questions than they answer. However, one thing's for sure, they're pretty freaking cool. Astronomer Scott Tingle recently tweeted a picture of lettuce being grown on the International Space Station. NASA is currently experimenting with the possibility of growing different foods in space. The picture shows red romaine lettuce being grown on a specially designed facility on the ISS. They are also currently trying to grow Tokyo Bakena cabbage and Japanese Mizuna mustard, but there's no word on how well those experiments are doing just yet. NASA apparently has plans to start sending manned missions to Mars within the the next 15 years or so, so it's important we get this growing plants in space thing down now so we don't have anyone end up like our good friend Matt Damon. This week in anime, a new anime series based on the science fiction augmented reality mobile game Ingress has been announced. Fuji TV, a Japanese TV station, is planning a new block called Plus Ultra. One of the first shows announced for this block was an anime adaptation of the mobile game Ingress. The Plus Ultra TV block is set to premiere in October of 2018. Well, that should be about it for this week. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that little notification bell so you know when our videos come out every week. We'll see you geeks next week.